My name is Michael Young and I'm an estate litigation lawyer. In this video, I want to discuss briefly a brand new decision that was just issued by the San Antonio Court of Appeals. It's uh, titled In the Estate of Cooksey, and I will post a link to the decision on my blog. It's an interesting case because the Court of Appeals upheld a jury's decision to overturn three deeds in a will based on undue influence. Now, undue influence is not easy to prove, and it's also hard to keep an uh, undue influence verdict on appeal. But in this case, the Court of Appeals agreed with the jury in overturning the deeds and the will. And the situation, real briefly, is a married couple, uh, married for a long time, had a significant amount of land holdings. Uh, the husband died in an accident in 2010, and the uh, mother began exhibiting in the years later uh, signs of some dementia, uh, some health problems. They had two daughters, and the evidence at trial was is they had often said that they were going to divide their estate equally between the daughters. Well, ultimately, that's not what happened. The mother executed several deeds to one of the daughters and then executed a will leaving the property to only one of the daughters. And the evidence was is that the daughters had grown apart and one of the daughters had told their mother uh, that uh, her sister had gotten into a safe, had, had taken some things, and also had been going around the town saying that her mother was crazy uh, and had, was trying to put her in a, in a mental care nursing home. The Court of Appeals agreed that that was sufficient evidence to find that the deeds and the will was the product of undue influence. What, what they held was the evidence was undisputed. They were going to divide the property equally and that it would be reasonable for a jury to determine that these one sister saying these things about the other sister improperly caused the mother to execute the deeds and the will. And that is the important test. But for the sister saying these things, would the mother have cut out one of her children? And the Court of Appeals agreed with the jury that there was sufficient evidence to show that she would not have done that. Now, when I evaluate these cases, one thing I look at is, is it does the result seem fair? Is there something that seems unusual about the documents that were executed? And whenever you have a parent completely cutting out a child, that is always going to raise suspicions and red flags. And it's a jury is not typically going to like that unless there is some fairly powerful evidence of why a parent would just totally disinherit a child. And my suspicion is, is that's what was happening in this case.